Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the basic wiring of our SK1323 and 2323 series keypads. Welcome to our instructional video, and we are glad you're here. In this video, we will begin by going over the following basic wiring and advanced wiring. Please see the description below to skip to the desired location in this video. Basic wiring covers the following. Keypad to door strike, keypad to electromagnetic lock, keypad to gate operator, keypad to request to exit button. Keypad to door strike basic wiring. Normally open circuit for a fail secure door strike. Step one, the minus of the door strike to the minus of the power supply. Step two, positive of the power supply to the pink wire common of output one. Step three, wire from the normally open of output one, the white wire to the positive side of the strike. Step four, add power to the keypad. Step five, test the keypad and door strike by typing in the user code 1357 shown in this example. Keypad to electromagnetic lock basic wiring. Normally closed circuit for a fail safe mag lock. Minus of the mag lock to the minus of the power supply. Step two, positive of the power supply to the pink wire common of output one. Step three, wire from the normally closed of output one, the aqua wire to the positive of the mag lock. Step four, add power to the keypad, the mag lock will now be locked. Step five, test the keypad and mag lock by typing in the user code. In this example, user code 1357 is used. The mag lock then releases after the code is entered for five seconds, then relocks. Keypad to gate operator basic wiring. Step one, run the two wires for positive and negative power to the keypad. Step two, the pink wire common will go to the ground of the gate operator. Step three, the white wire normally open will go to the gate opener. The exact location on the operator will need to be determined with the gate operator manual. Keypad to request exit button basic wiring, also known as an egress button. Triggers output one and output two will vary depending on the setup. Step one, wire the comm of the egress button to the green wire. Step two, wire the normally open of the egress button to the orange wire for output one or the yellow wire for output two. Power up the keypad, test the egress button. The left LED will go green. Now let's demonstrate how to wire output number two. Power down the keypad. Step two, wire the normally open of the egress button to the yellow wire of output two. Power up the keypad. Push the egress button, output two is toggled on. Push the button again and output two will toggle off. Advanced wiring. Advanced wiring covers the following. Keypad to door strike, keypad to electromagnetic lock. Keypad to door strike, advanced wiring. 
How to program a door strike to both outputs. Step one, minus of the door strike to the minus of the power supply. Step two, positive power from the power supply to the pink wire, comma, of output number one, and the purple wire, comma, of output two. Step three, wire the white wire normally open from output one, and the blue wire normally open from output two will go to the positive of the strike. Step four, power up the keypad and the door strike will be locked. Step five, test the keypad and door strike by typing in the user code for output one. In this example, user code 1357 is used. The door strike then releases after the code is entered for five seconds, then relocks. Step six, test the keypad and door strike by typing in the user code for output two. In this example, user code 2468 is used. The door strike then remains unlocked until the code is re-entered. Keypad to electromagnetic lock advanced wiring. How to program a mag lock to both outputs. Step one, minus of the mag lock to the minus of the power supply. Step two, positive power from the power supply to the pink wire common of output one. Step three, wire from the aqua wire normally closes to the purple wire common of output number two. Step four, wire from the gray wire normally closed of output two to the positive of the mag lock. Step five, apply power to the mag lock. The mag lock will be locked. Step six, type in the momentary code, output one code, in this example, 1357 is used. Maglock will stay unlocked for five seconds. Step seven, type in the toggle hold open code, output two, in this example, 2468 is used. Maglock will stay unlocked until the code is re-entered. This has been the basic wiring and video for the SK1323 and SK2323 series keypads from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.